Hello everyone, this is Hierotmania. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest VII, Fragments of the Forgotten Past, for the 3DS. Previously, the party finished up the Romer scenario, and Kiefer has left the party. They reported this to poor King Donald, who gave them another blue fragment. Poor King Donald. Now we need to go investigate the Romer area in the present. Time to set sail. Is this really the cheeriest place you could think of, Davalos? Still, I suppose anywhere is better than being back at Estrad Castle right now. Hey, I know what would cheer me up. Lunch. Indeed. Some scarfish. Hello, scarfish. And goodbye. Might as well disembark. This is the same island where we first met the Romers, isn't it? It doesn't look as if any of them are still around. I wonder where the Romers are. Do you think they're still on their travels? We have something a little different here. What could this be? <coughs> roll up, roll up. Come and lay your eyes on the find of the century. This is no regular skull. It's bigger than an elephant's head, with two glittering golden horns, the like of which you've never seen. And to see it will only cost you a laughably reasonable five gold coins. That's a bargain if I've ever heard it. That's a bargain if ever I heard it. So roll up, roll up. I bet you're dying to see this thing, aren't you, Davalos? Well, go on then. Just don't expect me to pay for you. Ooh, a big bone. Come on, let's take a look at it, Davalos. I heard they dug something amazing out of that big hole there. But I don't have any money, so they won't let me see it. Why are grown-ups so mean? Got a line here. I've been stood here for hours. Oh, I just can't wait to see it. The skull seems to have attracted quite a crowd. I suppose they've got nothing better to do. Apparently, this archaeological dig was only expected to turn up old plates and mosaics and what have you. But now they've found some kind of amazing monster bone. It's ever so exciting. I wonder what makes this thing so amazing. They're queuing up for hours to see some stupid old skull, are these people complete idiots? Come on, come on. If this queue doesn't get moving, I'm not going to live long enough to see the blessed thing. He'll be a fossil himself by the time he gets to the front. Herf, herf, herf. Gorp. Warg. 
Barf! Sorry, I'm just trying to imagine what kind of sound this, th this strange beast might have made. Maybe I'll have a better idea once I've laid eyes on it. Oh, let me have a go, let me have a go. Groo, drug. How was that? Ha, huh, what an poop! I can't believe I let him drag me here. What's so interesting about a stupid old bone, anyway? I've seen bones before. Fish bones, chicken bones, you name it. Bones are boring. You can't even eat them. A bone this old isn't even going to be any good for soup stock, and it's five gold coins just to look at it. I ask you. And that's not all. I have to pay for my old fool of a husband here, too. Ah, oh, he'll be the death of me, I swear. Back when, I was a, back when I was a wolf living up in the mountains, I didn't need money. If I wanted to look at something, I just looked at it. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's hard being a human. It might only be five gold coins, but her no-good husband should pay for himself. A fabulous find! Our heroes head to their next destination, where all the talk is about an incredible skull that's been found. It's bigger than an elephant's head, and has two glittering golden horns. How mysterious! Hello, sir. Roll up, roll up. Ah, uh, hello there. You look like you've come a long way to see our wondrous skull. Well, you won't regret it. It's massive, and it's got golden horns. What's not to love? So, are you interested? It's a snippet five gold coins. Um, you do have money, don't you? Yes, sir. Magical, marvelous, magnificent. So, can you spare five gold coins for the most amazing sight of all time? Sure. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you. You won't regret it. Davalos hands the man five gold coins. Thank you kindly. Now, as you've clearly come such a long way to be here today, I'm going to let you skip the queue. Lucky you! Yay, we're in! Amazing bone, here we come! If this thing turns out to be just some stupid old rock, I am not going to be happy about it. Go on in. The world's most wondrous archaeological discovery awaits you inside this very tent. But can I ask you one favor? Don't say anything about me being here to Dr. Digby, will you? He's very busy with his research, you see, and I wouldn't want to distract him. Maybe it's my imagination, but I've got a feeling this merchant isn't entirely above board. Yes, perhaps. Barrels? Seventeen gold? It's no relation to the crocodile, and it's no lizard either, but I'll get to the bottom of this, or my name's not Dr. Doug Digby. Hmm? Oh, you're here to look at the skull, are you? Well, go ahead, but don't even think about touching it. How rude. If you're going to put something on display, you should at least have the good grace to explain it to people. That man must really like bones, but I bet he doesn't like them as much as me. So, this is it, eh? It's a large skull with two striking gold horns. The horns are very, very shiny indeed. Go ahead and touch it. Um, sure. Oi! Get your grubby mitts away from that skull. Honestly, the youth of today. Sorry. Ah, ooh, that gave me a fright. For a second, I thought the skull was shouting at us. You just can't help yourself, can you? You knew it would make him angry, but you wanted touched to it anyway. <laughs> Ugh, how dare you interrupt me! Can't you see I'm in the middle of some important taxonomical research? Clear off! Okay. Mr. Doug Digby? Oh, excuse me, Dr. Doug Digby. Hello? And where do you think you're going? This is an important, uh, this is an important archaeological dig site. 
We can't just... We can't let just any old Tom, Dick, or Harry go wandering around it, you know. Come on, Davalos. You heard what the man said. You know what you... You know what you're like. If you did wander around here, I bet you'd step on something important. But it looks like so much fun in there. You could run around and roll on the dirt and climb up and down the ladders. Anything down this well? Well, well, a fragment. Blue fragment 8, I think. Yep, blue fragment number 8. From here at the dig site. And some wardrobes. One with a mini metal. Two good finds. We're up to 19. <coughs> now I think we're done in here. Yep, we're done here. So it's time to go. But I'm sure we'll be back. More than once, in fact. Might as well check out the rest of the island. The site seems to be clear. This mountain pass. This has not decayed. Nor has that. Hmm. I wonder if someone uses it. I see an aisle off to the west. And what is here? A beach near the altar of the Almighty. Anything to find here? Hmm, a grave with flowers. Davalos reads the inscription on the gravestone. Here lies one who danced for the Almighty, and beside her, her dutiful guardian. Hmm. Could that be Lala and Kiefer? Most curious indeed. Hey, wait. Something seems to be missing. There should be more land off to the west. Where is it? Anything on this peninsula? I don't see anything. Well then... 
Can we not zoom back to the dig site? I guess we'll have to hoof it back. All right, time to ship out again. Then we'll go around to that island. I see more monsters. Death cargoes. So long, death cargoes. And here's our new islet, all in white, on the map. Well, well, a treasure chest with a Lucita shard. This is an accessory, and it can be used in battle to confuse enemies. Now that we have a couple of blue fragments, it's back to the Shrine of Mysteries. Let's take our minds off Prince Twit leaving us by going to save another island. We can use that tablet fragment King Donald gave us. Tell us where we're going next, Davalos. I can tell you. It'll be a doozy. In fact, I wish this scenario had been placed before the Romer scenario. the lower left pillar, and let's see, the upper right for that one, and the lower right for this one. One of the nastier scenarios in the game. I wonder what that big building in the mountains is. It doesn't look like a castle. I can't see any towns or villages around, just those two big buildings, all on their own. So, that was Blue Fragment 7, from King Donald and Estard Castle. And Fragment 8, from the Well at the Dig Site.
Well, let's see what's around. Before I hit the town... We'll battle some enemies. Hello, enemies. Farewell, enemies. Now, before we hit the town, I'll explore a little. Hello, Slime Knight. A bunch of Slime Knights. Healing, eh? So long, Slime Knights. I guess none want to join me. I see a sign. All trades Abbey, huh? There is a chest in the west. A chest with a strength ring. One strength ring. There you go, Davalos. Ruff gets the earrings. Now let's return to that town. And we seem to have some pips. Pip Fighter, Battle Pip, and a Pip Whiz. So long, Pips. As someone said, Toodle Pip. Pilgrim's Rest. Phew, I'm pooped. Let's have a rest in that building by the lake. Ooh, look, a lake. I wonder if there are any fish in it. So, we've found a rest area of sorts. In the old days, folks who'd been to the Abbey to change vocations would stop here on their way back. But lately, no one's been visiting at all. You don't think our standard of service might be slipping, do you? Hello. Right now, I'm just a boring old warrior, but I've got big plans. I'm going to become a hero. I'm heading to All Trades Abbey now to change vocations, in fact. 
I'd love to stay and chat, but you know how it is. Okay. See you later. If we work hard, Davalos, we could be heroes too one day. Indeed. So he thinks he's going to become a hero, does he? Sorry, but I just don't think he's cut out for it somehow. Anything in this well? Well, well. A casino. Well, hello you. I bet you weren't expecting to find a place like this at the bottom of a well, were you? This is a casino built specially for folks on their way to go... for folks on their way to All Trades Abbey. Go on. Go and gamble your little hearts out. I probably will. This game here might look easy, but it ain't. Turns out it's well lard. It ain't no good just finding a pair, see? That won't earn you no items. You've got to get all the pairs to walk away with the loot. Which makes things pretty tense when there's some decent gear on the table. Them last two cards will get your art racing, I'll tell you. Clients drop by here on their way over to Well Trades Abbey, but they never seem to visit on their way back. They can't all have had such a bad time at our lovely little casino, but they never want to come back, can they? Hmm, now that she mentions it, the ambiance here does leave a bit to be desired. That can't be true. This place looks... this place looks like fun. Come on, come on. Is a royal flush really too much to ask for? I went and shoved all my gold coins into those slot machines like an idiot. You'd think there'd be a coin or two laying around on the floor somewhere, wouldn't you? Has she no shame? I was on my way to All Trades Abbey to get myself a nice new vocation, but just look at me now. I can't seem to prize myself away from the stool. Well, casinos, casinos can be a bit scary. Make sure you don't end up like her, Davalos. I know what you're like. Hello. May I propose a toast to victory? This place used to be full of travelers on their way to All Trades Abbey, you know. It could get very lively indeed. But it seems the good times are gone. It's a shadow of its former self. Ah, oh, that's the stuff. There's nothing like a nice little tipple after winning big. Just make sure you know when to stop. In both counts. I ain't got a clue why people hang around here all day, you know. I mean, if you're serious about finding yourself a new vocation, you can't go getting distracted by all these bells and whistles, can you? Not that it's any of my business, of course. How people live their lives is up to them, in it. Humph. When it comes to a good old-fashioned sword fight, I can't be beaten. But things aren't quite as simple in the casino. I keep losing, and it doesn't look like my luck's going to change anytime soon. Hasn't he ever heard of making your own luck? Or saves coming. This is the trade encounter. I'll have to come back later. And this is where you get tokens. I will get them later, ma'am.